quiet. I'm trying to make a video. Shh. Shh. What did I say? You can go in there banging the cupboard. Now you're going to be on YouTube. I'm going to embarrass you. See, my wife never listens. She's such a bad girl. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there you go. Crunch the bag around. And let's crack some nuts. I just told you I just need like 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Can you refrain for 30 seconds? You can reach in the bag and grab some more nuts right in the middle of my video. You can do it here. Just wait. I'm going to hear it crunching over there, too. <laughs> Shh. All right, so the first thing we want to do is remove the two screws on the back of here that hold on the little lanyard. Take the lanyard off, these two little guys right here, and we are going to pop out our SD card like so. Ta-da! So the next thing we're going to want to do is um, create a Nirvana folder um, on our desktop or wherever you want to put it. That's up to you. I have mine on my desktop so it's easy to get to. And we pop in our SD card into the old pewter. There we go. Pop her in the old pewter. So the first thing I do is, with the SD card, select all, and I'm going to copy all these files to my Nirvana desktop file. So that I, um, should anything go wrong with this or anything down the road or whatever, I can always blank out the SD card and put all this stuff back on there and start over. Right? So then... Next, we need a picture. So we're going to take, I have some in my pictures here. And this is one that I've already done. But I'm just going to show you. Resize. Uncheck the maintain aspect ratio. Pixels. Yeah. 320 by 481 is what we want. Okay. So we're going to click on that. Then, of course, we're going to save this file, and we're going to name it Background. As you can see right here, I have it saved and named as Background. Then we go into the SD card, which is right here. What we want is Themes under Default. So all we have to do is take this background and copy it to the default folder. Now you can see I have replaced file on this destination because I already um, have this. And that's it. Because your splash screen is named background. Now if, uh, you'll have the original background in that Nirvana file that I showed you to save all your SD card contents. Here's all my SD card contents right here. Under my defaults, I'll have the, um, the original. So if I ever want to put it back, sell the radio or whatever, there it is. So that's all we got to do there. Then we take our SD card out of the computer. And... Okay, so once we have that all finished, we just pop our SD card back in, the raw video, and then when we power it up, and you hear the custom sound, I'll show you guys how to do that later. But there we have it, there's our new custom splash screen, and we can... I love it, Mission Impossible. So there's our new custom spl splash screen, and we can go into these settings right here, 
and customize the screen however we want. You can have the sliders or you can turn off the top bar or whatever you want to do. I left my top bar on and there's no way to get rid of these little widgets which you don't want to or you won't be able to do your settings anyway. But you can shut that top bar off if you want to. Um, you can have the sliders on there or off there. I don't want them because you have the voice command that tells you when you're in center and then I really don't mess with the trims anyway. So there you go, that's it. Next. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I'll show you guys how to do some custom sounds. Bam!